This is your Adventist News, a service of the South Bombers Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. I'm Adriel Hepburn. Coming up in the news, members gather to be refreshed and revived, Bahamas Academy gets new principal, and PCM expands its reach. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News. Welcome to your Adventist News. I'm Adriel Hepburn. Thanks for joining us for this week's broadcast. The South Bahamas Conference held its annual camp meeting from the 24th of June to the 30th at Bahamas Academy on Marshall Road under the theme, Refreshed and Revived. Hundreds of members and visitors gathered in spite of the inclement weather that plagued the evening sessions. The highlight of the inspirational meetings were the powerful messages presented by internationally renowned evangelist Mark Finley. Pastor Finley led the congregation through the Book of Revelation. Coupled with his storytelling approach, Pastor Finley intimately connected with a listening audience. He is the royal, divine son of God like the lamb. He is the calf, the one who would be sacrificed for us, the one who shed his blood on Calvary's cross. He is the one that became a man, the one that walked the dusty streets of Galilee, the one that walked the cobblestone streets of Jerusalem the one that was hungry, the one that was poverty-stricken, the one that faced the temptations of Satan. He can identify with you because there is nothing that you will go through that he's not gone through. Individuals participated in a variety of workshop options every evening, including the popular self-defense class with Gao Tao Randy Johnson, children's sessions that were both interactive and informative, along with guest presentations from Jamie Pottinger for the youth and Ernestine Finley on nutrition. Jamie Pottinger empowered the young people to display confidence and encouraging them on how they could develop Christian characteristics. Ernestine Finley encouraged her audience to live a healthy lifestyle and gave instruction on the proper meal portions. The featured musical artist was Alison Rowe, who ministered throughout the week and the camp meeting goers were treated to the release of her new album entitled Alison Moret. Camp meeting ended with a final message from Pastor Finley and as a result, seven individuals were baptized. CDs and DVDs of the sermons and music from Camp Meeting are available, so call our conference headquarters to order your set and share the experience with your family members and friends. The Bahamas Academy School Board named a new principal recently. Juliette Sands, a trained teacher from the Academy who has given 27 years of service to the Seventh-day Adventist education, took up the position as of July 1, 2018. Sands holds a Master's of Arts degree in Education from the College of Education and Leadership at the Northern Caribbean University in Mandeville, Jamaica. And because of my passion for Seventh-day Adventist Christian education, I know that through His grace, I will be successful because He has led me there. Yeah. Mrs. Sands will appear on the show around the conference in the upcoming weeks, and we solicit your prayers for the administration staff and students of Bahamas Academy as they embark on a new chapter. Bahamas Academy, which was founded in 1912, has two divisions. The elementary division, inclusive of the Early Learning Center, covering K2 to grade 6, along with the secondary division, grades 7 through 12. The public campus ministry sector of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists has provided an app to further fulfill the mission to empower and equip Adventist students to be Christ ambassadors on their university campuses. We spoke to the coordinator of PCM, Pastor Jamal Franklin, who told us more about it. Well, the public campus ministry app is called Go Bahamas, G-O-W Bahamas. It is available free of cost at the Google Play App Store, G-O-W Bahamas. And that public campus ministry app is a devotional app for our college students who are at public campuses and universities and colleges to be able to have a devotion that is catered to the career that they are chosen. So the first stage has been has been launched and you can download it free of cost and you can have a devotional that deals with your career and you can share that among your friends, among your colleagues. And it's also not just a devotional app, but it's also a discipleship app. So we want you to share the um, devotionals that you receive every morning and uh, be a disciple, ambassador, active on your campus. The Real Harvest Seminary Adventist Church recently held the groundbreaking for its new sanctuary this past weekend. The property located on the opposite end of their present church location on Pigeon Plum Street in Pinewood Gardens was dedicated to the Lord in the presence of members and representatives of the South Bahamas Conference Administration. Church Pastor Asher Dane Duncan, along with Pastors Paul Scavella and Peter Joseph, 
the President and Secretary respectively of the conference were in attendance. After this short break, we'll have more on the upcoming events in the South Bahamas Conference. Welcome back and thanks for watching your Adventist News. I'm Adriel Hepburn. The Grantstown Seventh-day Adventist Church invites you to join them on July 7th as they celebrate the 45th anniversary of independence of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas under the theme, Celebrating Our Common Heritage. Her Excellency Dame Marguerite Pinling, Governor General of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, will be in attendance at the 11 a.m. service and a speaker will be Pastor Paul Scavella, President of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the South Bahamas. The Children and Adolescent Ministries Department of our conference will hold a speech fest at the Living Faith Church on Old Trail Road this Saturday, July 7th at 5.30 p.m. The children will speak on the theme, Refreshed and Revived in Jesus. Come and support our CHAM department. The Pathfinder Organization of the South Bahamas Conference will host Camp Refresh from July 15th to 22nd. Pathfinder Coordinator Patrick Wilson Jr. for the South Bahamas Conference gave us an update on this event. Well, Camp Refresh is on the go, as we know, but unfortunately our initial plan is for North Angus, but unfortunately due to some increases and the changes that we had to make, and luckily for the Angus kids they will be here, so we're going to move it back here at, in Nassau, so we're going to have that time where our Pathfinders along with some Angus folks We'll be here at your camp right at Bahamas Academy. Well, we can look forward to fun, fun, fun. But most importantly, we want to show them and, and encourage them to draw close to the God. And we're going to do that yet around the story of the little boy with the two fish and five loaves. And we're going to show and talk about how God showed that young man and how he used it to be a blessing to others. And that's what we're going to do in this camp. So they're going to earn honors. Parents, you don't have to worry. We are going to have them in a safe environment. No need to worry. We'll have the police patrolling and everything, so there's no need to worry. Once you bring your kids out, they're in good hands with good offices and good hands. The reopening of school is fast approaching, and we want all of our children to be ready. The Berea Seventh-day Adventist Church is doing their part by conducting a shoe drive, and you can assist as well. The organizers of this event are asking you to donate your child's lightly used school shoes that are in good condition to this initiative. Collected shoes will be donated to persons in need for the new school term. Shoes can be dropped off at the Berea Adventist Church on any Sunday during Pathfinder hours, Sabbath or Wednesday evening services until the 19th of August. Remember, please only give what you would like to receive. New shoes and donations are also welcomed. For more information, call 802-3668. And the Youth Department of our conference will be hosting the annual Y10 conference under the theme, Rebirth on August 11th to the 25th at 6.30 p.m. nightly at the Maranatha Adventist Church on Prince Charles Drive. The speaker for the Congress will be Gary Blanchard, Youth Director of the Adventist World Church, Michael Toot Jr., 
youth speaker from the South Bahamas, and Andre Campbell, pastor of the Elm Seventh-day Adventist Church in Florida. To receive information on any of these events, visit the conference website at www.southbahamasconference.org, see the weekly logos, or call our headquarters at 242-341-4021. Lung cancer, also referred to as lung carcinoma, is the disorderly growth of unusual cells that can start off in one or in both lungs. The two types of lung cancers are small cell lung cancer and non-small lung cancer. Small cell lung cancer grows more rapidly and spreads more quickly, whereas non-small lung cancer is any type of epithelial lung cancer. Lung cancer is the number one cause of cancer-related deaths worldwide in both men and women. Lung cancer-related deaths caused by smoking are 80% and other causes are usually due to secondhand smoking. According to the American Cancer Society, there are many ways in which a person can obtain lung cancer. They are as follows. Smoking. The longer you smoke, the higher your risk of developing lung cancer. The quicker you quit, the better your chances. Your family's history of lung cancer. If you have a relative with lung cancer, your chance of contracting the disease is very high. And lastly, secondhand smoke. Just because you don't put a cigarette to your mouth doesn't imply that you will not contract lung cancer. To avoid the consequences of secondhand smoke, skip going to indoor places that allow smoking. In most cases, the number one cause of lung cancer is cigarette smoking. According to the Mayo Clinic, signs and symptoms of lung cancer are a new cough that doesn't go away, coughing up blood, even a small amount, shortness of breath, chest pain, hoarseness, losing weight without trying, bone pain, and headache. If you have any persistent signs or symptoms that worry you, make an appointment to see your doctor. This has been Bridget Bastian with your health tips courtesy of Adventist Television. And remember, God wants us to prosper and be in good health. We go now to the Adventist News Network for our news feature from around the world. More than 700 people filled an Adventist church in Rome, Italy to celebrate the 90th anniversary of the Italian Union of Adventist Christian Churches. President of the Adventist World Church, Ted Wilson, attended the event and thanked God for the religious freedom enjoyed in Italy. He also reminded attendees not to take religious freedom for granted as it requires constant vigilance. More than 750 people filled the church in Piazza Folture, Rome, to participate in the historical event celebrating God and the faith of those who fought over the years to see freedom of conscience recognized in their country. In addition to those who filled the halls, hundreds of people watched via Hope Channel Italia, Facebook, Adventist Radio, and YouTube. Also during the ceremony, Wilson and retired former Director of Public Affairs and Religious Liberty for the region, Gianfranco Rossi, were honored. The 94-year-old Rossi was honored for the highly qualified and tenacious commitment in promoting requests for religious freedom for Italian Adventists at the institutional and religious premises of the country. Wilson received a copy of the Torre Peleche Church Register consigned to the World Church. It shows the name of the first Adventist in Italy and in Europe, Catherine Ravel. Ravel became an Adventist in 1864. She was the only Seventh-day Adventist in her community for about 20 years. That's our Adventist news from the South Palmas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists for this week. Please continue to share your news stories or upcoming events with us by emailing them to sbcadventistnews at gmail.com or feel free to call our media department at 242-341-4021. For a rebroadcast of the Adventist news, please visit the conference website at www.southpalmasconference.org or on our South Palmas Conference Facebook page. On behalf of our production team of Adventist Television Channel 658, thank you for watching tonight's broadcast. I'm Adriel Hepburn. Have a happy Sabbath and a happy Independence Bahamas.